Hello and welcome. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up? Thanks so much for stopping back by my channel today. My name's Holly from Holly Bell Knits. And this is my YouTube channel where I share about all of my knitting adventures and crafting things. I also have a website. It is hollybellknits.com where I blog about knitting and talk about my favorite yarn and all of the things that I am working on and some just like knitting thoughts, I guess, knitting life stuff. So today's video, we're going to be talking about Musselburgh hats. If you've been following along with me for any of the recent months, then you know that I have been trying to stock up on hats for my family for this next fall and winter. So I have knit everybody in my household a Musselburgh hat. I will have all of the links in the description box below, but I will go ahead real quick and just give you a, a little I'm going to catch you up to speed. So this one is knit from Knit Pick Stroll in the colorway black. This is my husband's. This is Knit Pick Stroll in the colorway navy. That is my oldest son's. This is my middle daughter's. Things are showing up on this camera a lot more like red than it is in, in real life. So just keep that in mind. This is the color color. Blossom Heather in Knit Pick Stroll. So I have a green screen and <laughs> this is like, do you see how this is like blending into my green screen? Okay, so this is my my youngest son's hat and it is in the colorway Everglade Heather by Knit Pick Stroll. And then this one is mine. This is my Musselberg hat out of Knit Pick Stroll. So Knit Pick Stroll is a super wash wool and it also has nylon in it. So it's 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. It's really good for socks and also Musselburgh hats and shawls and all kinds of other things. But anyways, this is mine. And I also knitted this hat in a different yarn from Knit Picks called Palette. This is showing up super red. This is the colorway Victorian, and this is a much more like pinkish, uh, almost like mauve color in real life, but it's showing up super red on this camera. I knit one of each, Stroll and Palette, because the fiber content is quite different. So like I said with the Stroll, it's super wash, merino wool, and nylon, and Palette, I have another ball of it right here. Palette is 100% Peruvian wool. So not super wash. Um, it's not going to have the same like stretch in it. The washing situation is different. So with super wash, you can put it in the washer. I wouldn't suggest this. I never do this. I never like throw in a, a hand knit item into just a regular washing machine with other clothes. Uh, I always hand wash these. It's super easy and it's not that big of a deal for me at least. So that's what I do with all of my hand knit. So I will be caring for this one in the same way. But with 100% wool, you do not want to be putting it in the washer at all. It could felt, it could do all kinds of, it could shrink, it just don't, it's just, it can be scary. We spend a lot of time and effort and energy and money on our hand knits and um, yeah, I don't know about you, but I do not want to be uh, ruining them by putting them in the washer. I know things happen, especially when you're raising kids, like things are going to be thrown into the washer without your knowing it. I mean, that would just be another excuse to knit something else. I really wanted to see the like size difference between these two yarns. And I use the exact same needle size, the exact same needles, the exact same uh, cast on method. Um, they're the exact same size. So the same number of stitches. I did everything the exact same for each hat. And I wanted to see like the size difference. Honestly, there's not a size difference. So Paulette is a fingering weight yarn, but I've heard people say that it is a light fingering, whereas Stroll is fingering weight yarn. So I thought maybe the hat um, 
with the palette yarn would turn out to be smaller or something, but it actually did not. That did not hold true for, for my knitting at least. It was the exact same pretty much from stroll to palette. I will try these on for you so you can see what they look like. And yeah, one second. This is the stroll hat. And if I wear it like this with the brim unfolded, you can see it's kind of slouchy in the back, which I really, really like. And then I can fold up the brim to kind of give my ears some more coverage in the winter time. And it still is a super nice fit. Hopefully you can see all of that. Okay. And here is the palette version. Um, it has a bit more of a like rustic feel to it as I think most knitters that have used superwash yarn and notice the difference between superwash yarn and 100% wool yarn, you know that there's a bit more of a uh, wooly feel to the 100% wool yarn as opposed to the like the softness of a superwash yarn. I still don't feel like this this yarn is like itchy or anything like that. It just feels warm. Like I feel like it's going to be warm for fall and winter. Again, it has the bit of slouchiness if I wear it like this. And then just like the other hat, I can fold the brim up and have four layers on my ears for super cold winter days. Okay, and just to show you the like sizing difference, if you can see this, it's pretty much the same. I've lined up the tops here, and you can see that they're the, about the exact same length when they're folded in on themselves. Yeah, they turned out to be like the exact same. So I'm super thrilled that I'm going to be able to wear both of these in the fall and winter. That was my little comparison of Knit Picks Stroll and Palette for the Musselberg hat pattern. This is my absolute favorite hat pattern. If you haven't given it a try, I highly suggest you do so. I think it's about like $8 on Ravelry. It is by a designer named Isolde T. Let me tell you, it is worth every cent because it's so customizable. It has every size you can possibly imagine and you can use any needle size that you want to and get a wonderful result. I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did because I really enjoyed making these hats. Thanks again for stopping back by my channel today and hanging out with me and I will see you again soon. Mm -hmm.